Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Sonny Rivera, Senior Analytics Evangelist at ThoughtSpot. And today, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about level of detail analysis, what it is, and how you can quickly and easily do it. With that behind us, let's jump right in. Okay, what we have here is basically a blank answer. But let's go through our particular use case. A non-technical user maybe wants to know their sales by store. So they will come in, sales by store. Very straightforward. We get this particular table, each store, and their total sales. We could look at it in a chart, so we see the bar chart. But let's go back to the table and take a quick look. Well, this is interesting, but I'd also like to know the sales, say, by region. So let's just add by region. And now with a little column shift and a little sort, we can see all the East region stores and their individual sales. Very nice, very straightforward. Next up, how does my store sales for each individual store compare to the region? So let's say sales of region and notice the keyword that we've added there, the of keyword. And what ThoughtSpot did was generated the proper queries for both the total sales by region as well as each individual store. So we can see in the East, New Hampshire has 10.1 million in sales and the region has a total amount of sales of 110 million. And if you notice, the regional sales, that value is the same for every store, which makes sense. And then each store has their own contribution to that overall total for the region. So if you want to look at the ratio of the percentage, let's take another um, look, another pass, and we'll ask, well, what is the percentage of that store's contribution to the overall sales? Well, very straightforward. Sales percentage of region. Now, ThoughtSpot has gone out and done the calculations. Let's go ahead and change this number format to a percentage. So ThoughtSpot went out, got the total sales for that particular store, the total sales for the region, and then went ahead and calculated New Hampshire's or each individual store's contribution to that particular region. Very nice. But you may also be asking, okay, well, how does it compare to all of the stores? And this is where we're going to use that all keyword. So sales percentage of all. Now, here, what ThoughtSpot has done is calculated sales across all stores in all regions and given us the ratio or the percentage for each individual store. Now, let's take a quick look of what, at what's happening in the background here. If you noticed, we had, I had mentioned there's this flag, show auto-generated formulas. Well, in future releases, this will be turned on by default so that you can see what's happening in the background. Um, but if it's not, you can add this particular flag and you'll be able to see additional details in the formula tab. If you look over here, we see total sales of region, which maps to sales of region. If I look at this formula, it's a group aggregate formula that is summing up the sales by region. Pretty self-explanatory. If I look at the sales percentage of region, it's very similar. We're going to sum up the store's sales or, or the sales for each store. We'll do the group aggregate of sales for each region, and we'll provide the ratio. In other words, we'll divide the store sales by the region sales. And if we go one step further, for all of the sales, we'll, we can see calculating the store's sales. We're doing a group aggregate for all of the sales, but this time note that there's no parameter here. So it's getting all of the sales across all stores in all regions. I'll jump right back to the region formula just so you can see that again. So here's the store sales, here's the group aggregate of sales, 
and this is grouping it by region. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. You can also visualize this. We could come down and say, okay, well, maybe I don't necessarily need to see um, all of these. I'll go ahead and I just want to look at the percentages and apply. So by store, I can see here's the percentage uh, of sales contribution for that particular region. And here's the percentage overall. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to um, contact me on the community. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you found this helpful. A little additional information on how easy it is to do level of detail analysis with ThoughtSpot and a couple of the new keywords that are out there, the of keyword and the of percentage uh, keyword. If you did find it helpful, uh, hit me up on Twitter. You can follow me there at RQ Rivera. You can also scan my QR code and you'll find me on LinkedIn and Twitter. So thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed it.